The 2014 National Champions of the Chinese Volleyball League opened a six-match United States tour by defeating the Texas Tech Volleyball Squad in a five-set exhibition match. Tech began the matchup with a 25-19 win over the team. After a first set loss, the Chinese team kept the Tech offense quiet as they snatched the second set, 25-10. Senior middle blocker Makia Mills said the team's fast set play style contrasted volleyball and conference play. We spoke with Mills and coach Don Flora about the experience. Um, I thought it was a great experience, you know, someone who's a professional, the players are professional, you know, they have a little bit more experience than us, some of them are older than us, so I thought it was a really good experience to be able to go out there and see how you can compete against a team like that, so I was very thankful to be able to be put in that position. I, I think one of the, the really good uh, big time, uh, big picture things is you have an opportunity to play an international team uh, that, that goes about it a little bit different. You know, how do they play defense? It's still volleyball, but they're just, how do they play some defense? How are they receiving? What are they doing in their blocking uh, systems and schemes? And so I think that that's a really good opportunity for us to see volleyball at a broader perspective. Uh, I think today having lunch with uh, the Zijing team, how, uh, how many people can say, hey, we sat and had uh, fajitas in Lubbock, Texas with a professional team from China. And so those are things that I think uh, the opportunity, are, those are great opportunities for our athletes and, and these students who uh, have done uh, incredible things in the gym. And so let's enjoy life a little bit around the game. And, and then I also just think just seeing a good team, uh, how they go about their work, how they warmed up, those things are, are really important in our learning and growth. Tech continues Big 12 play against number 18 Kansas at 1 p.m. Saturday in Lawrence, Kansas.